discuss about the career planning you know in terms of uh, post mbbs you know what kind of options you know all of us are looking at so i'm sure many of you are wanting to understand the us pathway and what exactly are these uh, usml examinations so so let me quickly introduce you to the american healthcare system and then uh, you know we will go deep down into how what indians do so currently 22.7% of licensed doctors in america are imgs okay what is img img is international medical graduates so all of you whenever you will do any application or anything to do with the process in america to study post graduation you will be called as img international medical graduates right so international medical graduates are almost 22.7% of the american healthcare system the number of img is increasing every year you know this is one country which is welcoming international medical graduates compared to any country globally 98% why indians are popular because out of indians you know maximum indians speak two or more languages so 98% of img speak two or more languages fluently so that's also an advantage all right 62% work in the primary care physician profile so they are the front runners or front warriors right now in this uh, war against covid in the america right just the way i have the ratio of students in this webinar today that's how the american ratio is in terms of female imgs getting selected you know almost 45% of international medical graduates are female so you know <coughs> earlier people used to wonder but now things have completely changed uh, in fact a uh, couple of years ago i had more uh, female students matched compared to uh the male students you know so that is one great thing one in three imgs uh call sweet south their practice so in fact uh maximum imgs work in texas florida you know the southern states followed by 28 percent working in new york new jersey philadelphia uh chicago 20 percent work in the midwest area you know towards arizona and those states and while 17 percent in the west california nevada seattle those locations right so that's an interesting split of imgs working so it's all across it's not just new york it's not just california it's all across it's not just the east coast it's not just the west coast now a lot of time i get questions from students sir after graduation after completing my pg uh, what do i do if i am an international medical graduate okay and uh, the best part is the best part is that 33% uh, of imgs do a job in a hospital the first career is that you join a hospital second is that people do something called as set start their polyclinic the way you have it in india uh, called as polyclinic they call it group practice then the next 20% uh, you know start their own single solo or a two doctor practice and while the balance work either in universities or there are managed care settings like a geriatric care setup a pediatric care setup you know those kind of uh, special child care setup you know those kind of institutions all right so that's where you are looking to work after your completion of pg and what kind of a uh, remuneration and salaries you get uh, we will discuss that as well much in detail uh, during this uh, session all right again i am repeating any questions you guys have keep typing in i will be happy to answer them now one good news for indian students 27% of imgs are from india followed by imgs from med schools in philippines pakistan Libya, nigeria china the lebanon uk and germany and then of course you have russia and ukraine okay that's where maximum students are in fact we have a uh, mock students from philippines china russia ukraine uh, and uk germany 
almost eight different countries is where our current students are preparing for the us mle examinations all right